Now let's talk about the feature value. We denote the feature value as A of P dollars. This is the principal amount at a simple interest rate R. And R here should be expressed in decimal. And T is the time in years. Now P is also known as the present value, or that's the principal amount, amount that you borrow at the beginning. If you look at it as an investment, this is the amount that you initially invested. And A, that the future value, is the amount of money that your money would grow into. Now let's see how we can apply or use that formula to calculate for future value. A loan of 1060 has been made at 6.5% for three months. Find the loan's future value. Now, it's important to take note that in the formula here, the time should be in years. So if the time is in years and the duration or the time given here is actually in, in terms of months, then we would have to convert or we have to write these three months in terms of years. So T would be one fourth, that is three over 12, and that is equal to 0.25. And the rate, which is 6.5%, will be expressed as decimal. And this one is the present value. To use the future value formula, you just have to plug in these values here. So P is 1060 times 1 plus the rate, which is 0 0.65, times 0 0.25, that's the time, because 3 months is one fourth of a year. Remember, if you solve for this one, you have to solve first the one inside the parentheses and then multiply it to the number here. And you get approximately equal to 1,077.23. The loan's future value is 1,077.23. This is the amount of money you will have to pay back. Another example, suppose you borrow 2,500 from a friend and promise to pay back 2,655 in six months. What simple interest will you pay? We want to know the rate. This 2,500 is the present value. This is the amount you borrow from your friend. And this is like the future value. This is the value of this 2,500 in six months. So from 2,500 after six months, it will now be 2,655. The time is 0.5 or one half because six months is half of a year because the time should be in years use the formula months divided by 12. in this case six divided by 12 so that's how you get one half and this is equal to 0.5 now substituting into the formula we have 2655 equals 2500 times 1 plus r times 0.5 and then attribute 2500 to each term here. Therefore, you have 2,500 plus 1,250 because 0 0.5 times 2,500 is 1,250. Transposes on the other side, 2,655 minus 2,500. That's how you get 155. 155 equals 1,250. And then divide both sides of this equation here by 1,250 to solve for R. So R is equal to 155 over 1,250, and that is equal to 0.124, or 12.4%. Just move the decimal point two places to the right, or multiply this by 100. Therefore, you will pay a simple interest rate of 12.4%.